Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you a full length individual training session that I typically do. So my team doesn't have training, so I'm going to get a full workout for myself. I'm going to work on a variety of different drills, so I'm not working on one specific thing today. I'm going to try and involve as many different aspects of the game that I would use for my position as I can. So I'm just going to get warmed up. I'm not going to film my whole warm up just because it's boring. But if you do want to see a full length warm up, I'll put a link on the screen right now. If you want some ideas on how to get your body prepared for training, it just gets you nice and warm, gets the muscles warm, gets the blood flowing and helps prevent injury and also just helps you train a lot better. So I'm going to get warmed up and then we'll get into the first exercise. number one now we're nice and warm we can just get a few touches on the ball that's what I like to do at first just get in a bit of a rhythm just get my mind and the ball connected and so what I've set up here I've got four cones around the outside you don't have to set up exactly like this and as I always say if you don't have the exact equipment I do you can always improvise so if you don't have the poles and you just have cones or any other objects just use those so we've got four cones on the outside and we've got poles in the middle and they're going to act as defenders. I like to use poles because it requires a bit more body movement that you would use in the game. You're not just stepping over a cone, you're just kind of actually having to drop your shoulder a little bit and actually manipulate the ball a lot more efficiently like you would do in a match. So all we're going to do is just manipulate that ball, weaving in and out of the poles for about 30 seconds. I like to do a set with the ankle weights on. So these are just a standard set of ankle weights. You can pick these up pretty cheap you can just google them and you should be able to find a pair at a decent price but it just adds a bit of resistance so obviously over time as you're adding a bit more weight to your ankles and manipulating your feet manipulating that ball around once you take those weights off your mind's still trying to work against that resistance so it actually increases your foot speed a little bit so it's a good tool to use i've used them for a few years now and they've been really effective for me so feel free to give these a go or if you don't want to or you don't have them you can obviously do this just without. So I'm going to get into it about 20, 30 seconds with the weights on and then I take the weights off and then do the exact same thing for about 20, 30 seconds. So let's go. trying to get lots of little touches keep that ball nice and close to your feet using all different areas of the foot now we do it without the weights on here we go That's the first drill complete. If you want a full workout for that one, I like to do three sets of 30 seconds with the weights on, and then three sets of 30 with the weights off. So that's six reps in total. So that'll give you a nice little warm up, and you should be nice and ready to start upping the energy a bit, increasing the intensity. So next drill, this is called the Cordurado. So it involves the ball and a little bit of work without the ball as well. So it's a short, sharp drill. It's a very explosive working on your agility, your speed, and also some ball control as well at the highest speed possible. So this is how it's going to work. If you don't have the pulse, just use cones or any other kind of objects. So you start at one corner. 
When you're ready to go, you're going to accelerate with the ball into the middle. Drop the ball, get around that cone, around these two outside poles, around that cone, picking the ball back up, and then back to the start, and then you place your foot on the ball, and that's the end of the exercise. So for a full workout, do this one three to five times depending on your fitness levels but we want to make sure we're doing quality over quantity i get a lot of questions asking how many sets and reps and things like that as long as you're putting in the maximum amount of intensity then you're doing okay it's no good doing five sets five reps if you're not doing it to hundred percent it's better to do one two or three repetitions at the highest intensity possible because that's where you're going to get the major benefits that's where you're going to see the improvements so i'm going to go through this probably three to five times depending on how my body's feeling today and things like that. So let's go. drill that we just did I did five reps in total and that's enough to move on to the next exercise so for this drill we're actually gonna be working on some speed reactions so I based this drill off something I saw I saw a player and a coach training together in a video and the coach was had different color cones lined up like this so it's a triangle so I've got a green a blue and a red and the trainer was just shouting out different colors and the player had to get to that color as quick as possible just get down and touch it so we don't always have a trainer available to train with us. So I figured out a way to do it by myself. And all, I'm do all I've done is just got the voice memo on my phone, just recorded into it. And I, before I've even looked at where I've placed the cones, I just say the colors of the cones in random orders. So for example, just going blue, red, yellow, yellow, attach it to my arm here, put the earphones in my ear. And when I press play, I'm gonna hear myself saying different colors. So if it says yellow, I've gotta get down and touch that yellow back into the middle on your toes say blue get down touch the blue red and so on and so forth so you can do this just put different color cones down talk into your phone just put it in a random order don't try and remember it at all you want to be really reacting to it so even take a break between the time that you've taken your voice memo have a drink really try and just forget about the order of the colors that you said into your phone so I'm going to show you how it's done reaction drill I like to do three sets of 30 seconds I think that's good enough for me and then we move on into the main event now so what I mean by main event is we involve a lot of different attributes into one activity now the other drills have been isolated on certain things but now we're kind of involving everything so a bit of explosive power a bit of agility a bit of dribbling a bit of speed and now we're gonna finish with some shots on goal as well so this is the main activity so this is how it starts we start behind the hurdles here one foot so we're bounding over with one leg through the whole set. And then for this, we're gonna weave in and out of the cones diagonally like this. So get nice and low. And we're gonna pick up the ball, just dribbling in and out of the cones. So you go in and out of all the cones and then you get to the final cone, you cut it back. When you get to the first pole here, so nice tight dribbling, you're gonna knock it one side of the pole and then you're gonna run around the pole pick up the ball again round the ball do a short sharp move you don't have to do anything fancy it could just be a change of pace so coming up to the last pole change of pace so when we finish with a shot on goal obviously i'm cutting in because i'm a right-sided player so we're cutting in and we're going to aim for that far post 
because what's going to happen is the goalie shifts across exposing that far side so that's the area we're going to aim for so let's go Guys, so that's the end of the training session. As you can see, I worked on a lot of different aspects of the game that are helpful for me as a winger. A lot of things that are very position specific. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're brand new to the channel, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos and more. That can help you improve as footballers. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.